Wolf's Rain is a movie musical stretched out to last 10 times than it needed without a proper storyboard to excuse the excess duration. And what a better choice to mess up in that department than Bones, the pretty colors and no fucks given for the plot studio. It's one of the hottest names today for all the wrong reasons. I haven't yet watched Wolf's Rain. I love Wolf's Rain. The best way to approach the show is as a dark fairy tale that overstates its welcome and has to do with freedom, life, happiness, and wolf huggers. It does a great job at building up a melancholic mood with its artwork and soundtrack, making it very easy for a weak-minded viewer to start thinking weirdly. Wolf's Rain is a concept, it's an idea, it's an experience. It is properly dark and depressing with the snow keep falling while songs and dialogues keep mentioning freedom from pain and sadness. It's about four wolves who disguise as pretty boys being hunted by everyone in a dying world as they follow their instinct to reach paradise where a flower girl will resurrect everything. Did that make any sense? No, but it's a cool concept and it does a great job at presenting an apocalyptic world at the brink of destruction. The problem is that's the only thing it does. Clearly animation's the most important, since without that it'd just be a regular old movie or TV show. The characters, for example, are nothing more than mouthpieces that seem to be interesting just because they are a patchwork of fetishes. If you try to remember what their personality is like, there is not much there. Pretty boys to attract the Fujoshis can transform into wolves to attract the fairies, and are victimized by the world to attract the field fags. Not that anyone who liked the show cared about good characterization, since apparently that was never the point. It's the experience. Stop trying to simplify things, boil them down to component parts. Neither is the pacing, which is extremely slow. So slow they had to throw in four recap episodes for a plot that can be summarized in less than one. That's what happens when you strike a deal for two cores and don't bother to fill them with something. The story was not complex and the main characters had no depth to excuse the duration. If you're expecting something to happen in every episode, you will be bored to death. But then again, it's not a show you're watching for its plot or characters. It's supposed to give you the feels, which in turn will make you feel like reciting emo poetry. It's this existentialism that permeates the entirety of the series that grants it the ethereal artistic power that it wields over me. And even for the scraps of plot you can find in it, anything unfolds in any way the scriptwriter feels like it. There is such an overuse of magic to the point anything is possible. The main villain has such broken powers he can teleport anywhere he likes, kill anyone he feels like it, and nobody can do the slightest thing to stop him. The story can end whenever he wants it, basically. The sky can turn pink and it will make sense because nothing makes sense. When nothing has limitations, everything is possible and nothing matters. Bones in a nutshell. But hey, look at the pretty colors and stop thinking about it. Sure, it's deeply couched in personal meaning and a resonance with me as an individual. But what isn't? So basically what you're supposed to do with the show is stare at the gloomy backgrounds and listen to the Ting Angst to feel the soundtrack. Stray! It's all about the artistic whatchamacallit side of the show and the emotions it inflicts to its viewers. Give me the feels like again me, I, I do, it strikes you. You might as well pretend there is no story at all. The ending is just a reality reset which renders pointless the entire show since it doesn't exist anymore. These are incredible works of art. The whole thing is very one note and because of its duration, it will become tiresome very fast if you want something other than just mood atmosphere. And all of your anger at someone's love of something supposedly shallow, based upon abstractions or overthinking, misses the point. Wolf's Rain hardly deserves its fame. It needed less episodes, better characterization and someone not from Bones to work on the storyboard. The soundtrack is the only thing I appreciate about it. If it's truly some immature, youthful appeal, then allow them to grow out of it. Straight!